Hey guys, Krithvik here and I'm going to be reviewing the West Brom Liverpool game which has been an absolute trailer for Menace and the Monk today. First of all, follow the Menace and the Monk on Twitter and Instagram and also click on the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Help the channel grow because they produce really amazing content. Getting into the game now which is which is an absolute trailer because because of the last last minute goal from Alison out of nowhere getting into the game rightly West Brom took an early lead 16th minute I guess it was where Hal Robson Kanu scored from a mistake from on the from our back line Reese Williams and Nat Phillips completely the defensive organization was out of the picture Nat Phillips was Nat Phillips was also at fault Reese Williams was also at fault it was probably a lack of communication as well you could say West Brom winning the header uh, in midfield and just flicking it on Pereira just flicked it on for Hal Robson Kanu who scored a goal after so long so they took the lead Liverpool came back with an amazing goal from Mohamed Salah and kudos to Sadio Mane who won the ball back pressed and won the ball back Liverpool's pressing in this game has been absolutely amazing PPDA for this game which is passes allowed per defensive action is 4.05 the lesser the PPDA number the better it means you're pressing or you have the ball basically so Liverpool pressed a lot in this game you could see that in the game uh, the match as well Thiago Fabinho Curtis Jones at the start and Liverpool took the lead sorry Liverpool equalized they had chances when Firmino got a really really good opening he hit the bar and it came back there were a lot of other chances as well Sadio Mane had chances Trent Alexander-Arnold who had notably the biggest chance of the game to 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 give Liverpool the lead in the dying stages of the game he hit it over the bar which was pretty disappointing because he had a really good game in terms of his passing and in terms of his creativity as well Thiago had a brilliant brilliant game five key passes in the game from Thiago he took a lot of shots as well which is brilliant and he almost or he nearly scored as well with a curler just like he did against Southampton and just when it was seeming that this was in Liverpool's day. Who saves the day? Alisson. Alisson is basically Jesus Christ. He is Jesus for Liverpool fans right now. He is God for Liverpool fans right now. I mean, the, f- the first instinct when he came out was, I don't know, this, this, this is again going to end like the rest of the corners that Liverpool had. They had a lot of corners. I guess 11 corners or something was what Liverpool had in the game and he wasn't marked he jumped with a really really nicely glanced header into the far corner what a goal what a header and what an important goal for liverpool as well which pushes them furthermore in the race for the top four two games remaining and again it still is in liverpool hands on whether they qualify for the Champions League next season or not. If they win the remaining two games, Liverpool qualify for next season's Champions League. If they slip up, the results depend on Chelsea and Leicester. So, brilliant game. I felt I felt the finishing once again was pretty pretty average. It's 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 been the case the whole season for Liverpool. The finishing has been draws. There's there's a huge underperformance of XG as well. Liverpool have like I don't know, single game XG might not be really, really relevant, but 2.08 was the XG according to understand and uh, understand. And for West Brom, it was 1.14. Liverpool scored two goals, obviously. So it's not like Liverpool didn't have chances. They had pretty good chances, but they were still struggling to create like they would against teams that doesn't sit deep. So this is a huge, huge win, especially against Sam Allardyce. This probably mentally boost the players as well a mental confidence for the players as well and most importantly for Alisson it's not just the goal a few moments before he saved a brilliant shot from was it Hal Robson Kanu once again where he advanced and he saved uh, Hal Robson Kanu sh- could have easily got two or three goals today maybe a hat trick as well but Alisson was brilliant today he did his job his distribution was pretty good as well and literally he ends up being the savior for Liverpool Next game against Burnley and Burnley are going to play very similar to what West Brom did. They are going to spray long balls into the box 
Chris Wood, the likes of Chris Wood would be there winning duels. Rhys Williams didn't particularly have a great game. There were moments where he, he came out on top and he did pretty well, but overall he didn't have a great game. Neither did Shredan Shakiri, who came on from the bench early enough, uh, replacing Curtis Jones. He didn't have much of an impact as well. Wijnaldum came on late, had a really good chance. His shot went wide off the post. I mean, literally as a Liverpool fan, you might have thought, it's it's done. It, it's literally done. It's just the same story repeating that that's been happening all season. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Alisson. Alisson does it for Liverpool. And a big miss for Liverpool will be Diogo Jota in the next two games as well. He's been ruled out for the season, which is just the remaining two games, obviously. But he's going to be a big, big, big miss for Liverpool. So, yeah, that's, that's there with uh, the review. I mean, West Brom didn't have much. They mainly created from set pieces, which is their biggest strength and which has been a weakness for Liverpool this season. So, Big Sam went for the right choice. Big Sam targeted the right weakness that Liverpool had. Their plan was pretty much successful. But Alison Becker, Jesus Christ, the God for Liverpool fans right now, saved the day for Liverpool fans. So that's it with today's review. Thank you for watching. Once again, follow Menace and the Monk and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Bye-bye.